Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, checking out Annex 15's new personal menu and the menu manager. The personal menu is here on the regular old menu. And you see I've already customized mine with simple screen recorder and TED text processor, or the, it's the old text editor, TED. And you got the regular applications menu here where all your apps will show up. And you can see I've got a couple of things here installed that haven't... Um, that it isn't part of the normal Annex uh, installation, biggest one being Google Chrome. Okay, so we're going to use Menu Manager to uh, set up some custom entries in the personal menu. Menu Manager is available in the Control Center under Edit Menus on the Desktop tab. And so I ask you what you want to change. And I'm going to say you want to change the application menu or the personal menu. And I'm going to say the personal menu. What do you want to do? You want to add items or do you want to remove items? Well, I want to add items. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just any old app. I want Chrome installed on my uh, personal menu. So I'll come here to Google Chrome. Click OK. It's going to give you a list of things. Name to display. That looks good. Here's the launch parameter. That comes straight from the desktop file. Pre-populated. No problem. It's going to use the default Chrome icon. OK. Sounds good. OK. Now it's going to ask you want to refresh the menu. I'm going to say sure. And it'll come up here in a second and tell you that it's all good. I'm going to check the menu out here. And there it is, Google Chrome. Now it's going to present the menu in alphabetical order. Not much we can do about that. It's kind of a feature, not a bug. So now we have Google Chrome on the menu. Well, there's some other neat things you can do with the personal menu. You can have it launch particular things. For instance, you could have Chrome go to a particular website. So I'm going to launch the menu manager again. And you can actually do more than one at a time, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to do one at a time. Personal. And I want it to launch uh, Netflix automatically. I'm a big Netflix movie watcher. So we're going to find Chrome in the list again. Now it may show up twice now because we have in the main menu and in the personal menu already. So we'll click Chrome. It's going to give us the gobbledygook again, but instead of the percent %u this time, I'm going to tell it to go to netflix.com. And instead of the default icon, I'm going to pick a different icon. I'm going to select an icon. You can say no icon if you want. And I do believe on my data partition I have a suitable icon. Oh, look there, a Netflix icon. Go ahead and refresh the menu. And when it tells us it's done, we'll take a look. And we'll find that in the personal menu, I now have a Netflix. Oh, you know what? I didn't change the name. I could have changed the name and made it Netflix instead of Google Chrome. But I do have the icon shift. And if I launch Google Chrome, you'll see that it will go to the next thing. If I wanted, um, I could remove that entry and then come back and make a new one uh, to match. And there we go. There's, there's Netflix starting up. Netflix, of course, working just fine in Google Chrome in Annex 15. Based on Jesse, all the libraries are up to date. No problem. So we'll go ahead and launch the menu editor again. Let's say you want to launch an app with a particular configuration. Okay. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Let's do that again. We're going to edit the personal menu. And I'm going to add one to the menu again. And this time, I'm going to launch um, uh, Connect Shares, for instance. Connect Shares. Now, I'm going to give it a new name. Connect Shares 
home network and I actually have by default connect shares will connect to connectshares.conf I actually have this set up as home network .conf for instance and now when I when I click to do that I say okay I don't want to change the icon alright and now I'm going to add another one real quick just to show you that you can add more than one add to the personal menu it walks you through the steps every time now, some people might find this a little slow but uh, you do realize that it's working just fine you see if you give it a different name you see now we have connect shares home network it shows up a little different instead of having that duplicate Google Chrome so give yourselves a custom name when you put it on the personal menu that way you can tell them apart in the menu I'm going to add connect shares again and this time I'm going to set up an entry for my work network connect shares work network and connect shares work net dot conf alright so now I have connect shares launching two different uh, configuration files right from my menu and this is very uh, handy to do if you go look and look some of my old connect shares videos you see I used, used to do this in space FM but this is um, better because they're available anywhere off the menu I don't have to launch the file manager just to connect to my network shares be on the lookout for a new connect shares video as well there's some small changes from my old one okay so now we have connect shares launching two different configuration files what else can we make this thing do well uh, you can have more than one launcher for an app launching different sub files like for instance if you have a to-do list instead of my TED editor there on the personal menu I could set up TED and then the launcher item for my to-do list and I can name it to-do list and it would be in there um, this is a very nice way of putting things that you do often at your fingertips. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to make another add to the personal menu. We're going to add an app that's not on the list. Um, and on this list, you'll notice that Synaptic is actually not on my list. As of right now, uh, Synaptic is installed, but it's only available through the control center. So I'm just going to click in. I'm going to pick anything. I pick text editor. It doesn't matter because I'm not. I'm not going to use it for anything. We're going to call it Synaptic, and I'm going to put a personal here so I can tell which one it is, which menu. And instead of whatever this item is, I'm going to say JKSU Synaptic, and we're going to give it a new icon we're going to give it a synaptic icon from somewhere let's see apps everybody's got a synaptic icon we'll say refresh and now synaptic even though it's not in the regular menu is going to be in my personal menu It's a little bit of a cheat working it that way, but it it's, it it works it works rather well for getting this sort of thing done, getting whatever you want on the menu. And then you see there's there's Synaptic Package Manager firing up. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you one more example. We're going to add a terminal application. There are a few terminal applications in Annex. Um, one of which is a CD burner that I personally like and I'm going to add that to the list. You, a lot of people think well I, I don't want to mess with a terminal app but some of the terminal apps are quite good. So we're going to add whoops I didn't select anything. Like I said we're going to select anything it doesn't matter what it is and I'm going to call it it's my CD W burner and I believe the command is CDW and I'm going to click tick to give it a terminal I'm going to give it an alternate icon or use no icon and actually it's a terminal app so it doesn't have an icon so I'm not going to say no icon this time 
refresh okay and now in the personal menu I should have a terminal app available and indeed I do and there's a CD burner app now don't let the austere appearance of this of this uh, app fool you it's uh, I find it easier to use than simple burn or something like that and it's usually my go-to app for burning CDs data files and things like that but it's to each his own that's why it's custom it, it, it's here there are terminal apps that are not the do not appear by default in the application menu and this is a way to get let you add whatever you want to the menu any way that you want so I showed you a lot of ways to add to add apps to there uh, I'm going to add a and like I say that could have been Netflix but it's not but we're going to uh, do one more thing with the personal menu here I'm going to uh, add a to-do list I'm going to use LeafPad for that, I think. LeafPad. Oh, if I could spell, this would be easy. LeafPad, there we go. I'm going to use LeafPad. And again, we have the familiar thing, but I'm going to call it To-Do List. To-Do List. And under LeafPad here, I'm going to say I want it to open... Uh, my home file to do list txt you will use the old default icon it's not a terminal app okay refresh the menu up to personal and to do list you see it's given it the name to do list it's like I want it and I actually don't have anything to do so my first item is going to be make a to-do list but you get the idea Person, if you if you have certain items that you want to launch all the time in particular ways this is it another example let's say you don't like the way the space FM launches by default where it uh, tries to keep open tabs that were open before maybe you want to use the dash in option so that this only your home tab opens every time you can do that just make yourself a new entry uh, space FM give it whatever command line switches you want boom Bob's your uncle you're good to go so I've got one more item that I want to show you with menu manager and that's that you can show and hide items from the applications menu so I want to start up menu manager again I'm going to choose the applications menu and I'm going to hide an item I'm going to hide uh, LibreOffice Math because I've never used the thing and it takes up two menu locations on the menu it comes in education and in office so I'm going to scroll down here to LibreOffice Math and if you see uh, let's see LibreOffice you see some items it'll tell you if it's shown or not shown or not set or hidden and some of them it can't tell it's unknown but it'll set it the next time it's selected or hidden so a nice little shout out to what's going to happen I'm going to click LibreOffice Math click OK that was on the hide time I'm going to refresh the menu and it's going to be gone from the menu now it's going to be gone in both places both in the office menu and in the education menu, it's completely gone because now it's empty. And in Office, it's gone from here as well. Now, if I want to put it back, I can go back to Edit Menus and show the item. And that's it. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.